Good morning, Val. Good morning, Veronica. Good Hello. morning. Cheers. Cheers. Do you have your coffee and your, what is that, Veronica? Water. But water I had before water coffee. First. Water before coffee. I had my water this morning too. All right. So we are here to chat with Veronica about being a trim trainer and you're also a registered dietitian. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. So talk to me. This is my first time meeting you, Veronica. Talk to me a little bit about your health and wellness journey and how, how you got here. Okay. So, um, as, as you mentioned, thank you all, first of all, for letting me be here. I'm very excited about it. I'm grateful to be a part of trim, uh, grateful to be a trainer with them. So, um, I am a registered dietitian. I, um, have a master's degree in nutrition and dietetics. Um, so I've been working through all of this for almost 14 years now. Um, now health and wellness journey, you know, I, always been active as an athlete, um, starting gosh, softball at the age of four. And then, um, I'm, I'm a runner. I've done multiple five Ks, 10 Ks, um, a few half marathons. And so I've always, um, you know, I've always had that as a main, you know, main component in my life. Um, when I, um, trying to think when I got pregnant with my son, it was, it was kind of a miracle. We have, we have two babies. We have been married 10 years. We, um, tried to get pregnant for five years. Um, we ended up adopting a baby. And then two years later, we adopted a, a second baby, my daughter, Josephine. And then a month later, we found out we were pregnant with my son. So they're nine months apart. They're wild. They're wild. They're like <laughs> twins. Um, <clears throat> but with that pregnancy, I put on 50 pounds. And I was already at a higher weight than I needed to be to begin with. So I was noticing a lot of hip pain, a lot of swelling. Um, do you mind so, telling me how old you were with, with your first pregnancy? Um, so, well, and going back, I'm actually a birth mom as well. So my first pregnancy actually was when I was 18 and, um, man, it was a lot different when you're 18 <laughs> versus when you're in your thirties to have a baby. Um, so there was no, no complications with that. Um, I think I gained like 25 pounds was back in my regular shorts two weeks later, you know, the, you know, the drill, but, um, I was, let's see, I was 30, I was 32 and actually had my son on my 33rd birthday. Um, oh, wow. and so, yeah, yeah. So we share birthday? birthday. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so then fast forward, I thought that I would just start losing the weight, you know, mm -hmm. uh, kind of got back on to my, my journey and, you know, everyone running. talks about how, if you just do breastfeeding, you gain, you lose it right there, right after, if you're active, yeah. like anyway, we'll, talk yeah. about well fun later. fact, um, I, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. So breastfeeding kind of plummeted for me. Um, and then I couldn't, I, I, I got back to my pre-pregnancy weight, but I still was so unhappy with that number. And I mean, this was like a year and a half later, I still could not lose the weight, mm -hmm. which is also a component of PCOS and, um, mm -hmm. just endometriosis, things like that. So, um, I ended up having a miscarriage in 2000 and in May of 2022. <clears throat> and after that, you know, things were just kind of awry and I, you know, a lot of my fitness was focused on, like I said, running. I would do like metabolic conditioning. I would do HIIT training. Didn't really use strength training as part of my routine. It's just because it was out of my routine. I didn't know what to do with it. And um, one of my good friends introduced me to trim, actually. So um, she looked incredible after having number two, baby number two. And I was like, well, what the heck are you doing? And she told me about trim. She actually is out of Lexington. She lives in Lexington. And so, um, the, the fact that, you know, Val is, is local to Lexington and everything kind of resonated with me. I was like, okay, good. It's not some big like corporation, you know what I mean? And so that, that brought me some comfort. Um, so I started trim, I did my research, um, and, and something that I love about the program, and this is pulling back from my, you know, as a registered dietitian, it's the credibility. 
you know, there's a lot of diets out there that are recommending to eliminate complete macronutrient groups. And, you know, there, there's a difference between like cycling, you know, like what we do here, the calorie cycling, the carbohydrate cycling versus eliminating. Yeah. And, you know, we all as humans need carbohydrates, fats, and protein. We do, we do. And so I, that really, um, that brought me like a level of comfort that I was doing something that was safe and that I was doing something that could potentially be effective. Um, which led me to two rounds of trim boot camp, and I lost 20 pounds. I wow. lost 20 pounds in the 16 weeks. I got down under, you know, 24 pounds under my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, and it, I mean, it was, it was incredible. So, and how did you uh, feel above and beyond that losing 20 pounds? Because that is definitely amazing and congrats, but how, how did it change the way you felt? I mean, it was like a, like I, I tell Val and I, I write this on my, you know, social media posts, it's life changing, hmm. you know, coming in and, and I could get emotional talking about this because coming in as a registered dietitian and you can't even fit into your scrubs anymore. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's humiliating, especially having, you know, been a part of a large fitness group for years and years and years. And so to, for people to notice at work, I mean, people that I don't even know saying, wow, you look incredible. What are you doing? And, um, not only that, like it reduced my hip pain. So I had hip pain all throughout my, my son's, um, pregnancy to the point that I wasn't able to run to the point that I had to do physical therapy. That's gone. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any hip pain with this pregnancy. Um, Amazing. I started out 20 pounds lighter. Like I still am almost 20 pounds away from where I was when I gave birth to my son. Um, and, which and I don't think you've mentioned difference. it, but you're 37 weeks pregnant right now, right? Yes, yes. I am. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> almost 38. <laughs> almost 38. <laughs> yeah. And um, the fact that I can wear like my maternity scrubs is, is uh, it's great. Like I'm very thrilled about that. I usually, I don't have my rings on this morning, but I can wear my wedding rings. I don't have hardly any swelling. And it's just, it's the few trim components that I'm still incorporating in my life that I think really, really help with that. So at 30, almost 38 weeks pregnant, and you just made me tear up by the way. So don't, I know. <laughs> because I know exactly what you mean. It's life changing. And you yes. hear other people say that, and it sounds so like cliche, but it, it truly is life changing. It is. Mentally, it is. If physically, yes, a hundred percent, but and mentally. that's why I did trim was for the physical, but what I didn't realize is mentally it's going to change you so drastically, I would say. Yes. Um, so I don't even need to be here. I just want to listen to you guys because <laughs> <laughs> obviously I created it and I went through it, but like the fact, I mean, just hearing you guys say how life-changing it is, that's what we want to do. We don't want to just have women lose weight. We want mm -hmm. them to change their lives, how they look at food, their relationship with being mm -hmm. healthy. Because Veronica, from what I'm hearing, um, before you did trim, the stuff that you were doing with running and stuff, that's all calorie counting component. Yep. And that's what a lot of the issue is, is people, when they lose weight, they focus only on calories, which just yes, calories deficit will make you lose weight, but it sure. doesn't teach you. It doesn't give you freedom. And there's other ways to keep it off. Cause if you have one component to lose weight, it's going to come back. Yeah. Right. You do, um, the whole 30 thing, which the creator of that even said, it's not to lose weight. Everyone does that in January. It's elimination diet and people just, yep. when you eliminate everything, it's of course you're going to lose weight. Back. Yes. Um, yes. And even if you have the best intentions, when you deprive yourself, food is just as addictive as a drug. If you deprive yourself long enough, you're, it's going to, you're, you're going to binge. It's going to binge. It's going to come yeah. back. Mm -hmm. Um, but also when you talk about what really blows my mind is, um, how effective trim was, even though you had PCOS, we get women all the time saying, I don't think trim is going to work for me because I have PCOS. And we actually don't have to do a ton of adjustments for women who mm -mm. have that because everything we do is so natural and slow pace. Now, if you have PCOS, yep. you go straight into intermittent fasting, hardcore, straight into caloric deficit, everything. You we might see some, some pushback for sure. Yes, you're going to see pushback from your body. But what we do is we train the body, which you did and you 
added things on slowly. And Morgan, and I talked on the last podcast about how it's a, um, it's a progressive build program mm-hmm. and it just changes everything. So the fact that yeah. it worked, you're a testament to women that you can be healthy, even with a, a diagnosis. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And something else that I want to say about trim, which, um, this is something that I love. I'm, I'm a full-time employee. I work at the hospital four days a week, not five, but four days a week. And I cover weekends. I'm a full-time mom. I've got three kids that are five and under, and I've got one on the way. I have a husband that travels usually one to two days a week. And, you know, I hear women say, oh, I don't have time for this. I, you yeah. know, but it, it's, I don't want, I, I use the term selfish loosely because I don't want to make a negative component, but I took that time. Every woman, every male, whatever deserves the time to do a 30, 45 minute workout. And yes, you have to make it a priority. And, um, I would take the time, you know, my kids, I would put my kids down. I give them baths, you know, dinner, blah, blah, blah. I was present, but then I had my me time. And that was usually, you know, eight o'clock at night when I would do my workouts or nine o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And it worked for me. Um, and and that's what I I love about every single Every time I work out, you know what I think? I am creating more life for myself, for my kids, yes. for my mm-hmm. grandkids. Yes. Meaning, yes. I, I mean, I tell myself this every time I work out, every time I, I, I even hate saying workout, to be honest with you, I like to say mm-hmm. body movement. So every time I do body movement, mm-hmm. I am adding five minutes to my life. And that's five yes. minutes more that I get with my children and five minutes more yep. that I would get with my grandchildren. That's what I like yes. to think to keep going. I tell um, people all the time too, if yes, you're so tired because you're so busy, but what if doing a few things in trim gives you more energy to do those things and not have it wear you out? Because in life. Like I, when I, when I create trim, I did not create it. This is back in 2016, 17. I did not do it to be like, I want women to have more energy. I'll be completely honest with that. That was something that came out of it to where obviously I was no kids. When I created trim, I was focused more on the body look. And now we have totally shifted it to be like, you know what? Yes, you're going to lose weight. Yes, you're going to get muscle to show, but you're going to have so much more energy. You're going to sleep better. You're going to have less cravings and your blood sugar is going to be stable. Yes. Now in my mid thirties, I'm just like, that's what's important. Yeah. Yes. (laughs) The other stuff's not as important. Yeah. That's a benefit. But trim, when we show before and afters, maybe we should even start asking women like this, take your blood pressure, your resting blood pressure. Yeah. Let's do all this. Let's do it afterwards. We do have a fitness assessment. So like now we focus on how many pushups you can do before and how many you can do after those are the, those are the progress results, check marks that will change your life. Absolutely. Weight's not going to change your life. It's going to impact your life for that time being. And it's going to deprive you if you don't do it as a lifestyle. You know, the other morning I was, at, me and Lily, so Lily is my three-year-old, and then I also have a one-year-old. Lily wakes up early, and I do too. So we were outside just trying to get some energy out, and we made a little hopscotch. And I actually participated. I know it's so small, but I participated yeah, in that hopscotch because I felt I had the energy. To you felt so. good. I felt yeah. good. Otherwise, if I wasn't moving my body and thinking about my nutrition, I would be sitting in the grass out there. So I was actually yep. participating with her. Um, Veronica? I want to know you are 37, almost 38 weeks pregnant. What are you, what kind of trim tactics are you incorporating right now into your lifestyle? And I also wanted to say, sorry, that trim is all about what chapter you're in in life. You're not always going to be able to go 100% in and do every single thing that trim offers, but really you're able to, um, pick and choose what trim offers depending mm-hmm. on your chapter in life. And your chapter right now is 38 weeks pregnant with yes. multiple children under five. So what are you incorporating yes. right now? So um, I've had some complications with this pregnancy. So early on, I had to kind of give up working out and and it was really unfortunate because I had a goal in mind to keep on going as long as I could. Um, but so, you know, what I ended up doing was I ended up <clears throat> walking. I was walking most days of the week up until 34 weeks probably. And then some other things kind of happened with, and my doctor was like, you just need to chill now. So that's where I'm at as far as, um, movement is concerned. I'm just kind of resting. I still try to take the stairs when I can. Um, as far as 
what I'm doing with my nutrition. So I don't track right now. I don't intermittent fast or anything. Cause that's not really, that's not recommended. And then, um, I also don't have any kind of calorie deficit, which yeah. I will go back on that in just a second. But, um, I prioritize protein, you know, I, um, try to get some good protein sources in, um, you know, we do a lot of lean meats in my house and, um, I also do like the protein shakes. That's one of the things that kind of keeps me going. And then I do Greek yogurt, things like that, eggs. Um, I, I think I'm a camel when it comes to hydration, (laughs) um, you know, already pregnant, you need a lot, a lot of water. And I don't really have a problem with that. I don't drink coffee. I know shocker. Um, but I try to incorporate like, I don't know, like seven of these or eight of these a day, it's 40 ounces. And so I keep my hydration up. And then the last thing that I really do is I focus on my carbohydrate con like intake. Um, You know, I am a stickler for complex carbs. I crave fruit most of the time in this pregnancy, which is glorious because with my son, it was like McDonald's. Um, (laughs) So um, I try to get, you know, all the fruit in. I try to do, we do whole grains most of the time in this house. And then also um, sweet potato, starchy vegetables, which I'm excited for the fall with all the good stuff coming um, with the butternut squash and things like that. So that's my three main components. And then going back to what trim is doing, which I think is incredible. You're right. It's all about the life stage. Um, you know, and and Val has created these guides that help with breastfeeding, postpartum pregnancy. And that is something else that kind of gives me that, um, okay, this is good. This is safe because they're not going to pull you down to a low calorie diet when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. They're not going to do it. She's going to give you safe workouts because she's been through two C-sections. And so she understands that, you know, this is real life. You know, we have to be safe. We have to be cautious. We have to listen to our bodies. And that's what trim incorporates in it's in and of itself. And all of that is available you know, as soon as you sign up, which is, is, it's glorious. You know, I printed off the pregnancy guide as soon as I started doing the trim training program, because I wanted to see what are we doing here? So, yeah, I mean, it's great. It's great. With the app too, like we even have that pregnancy feature and Mm -hmm. breastfeeding when you are calculating calories, it removes low cow days. And I do get asked all the time. They're like, does it remove low carb days? And I, it doesn't because everyone is so different. I have women who have a baby and can do carb cycling and their milk supply is so strong and they're good. I couldn't do that. Yeah. So I had to have over a hundred net carbs to even, I still wasn't making enough. So I didn't focus on that at first, but that's why we don't take it away because some women can, some women can't, your body will tell you within two days. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. what you should be doing. So we always just say like they can, even if the trainer isn't um, as versed in breastfeeding and stuff as I am, or you are Veronica, that's the beauty about trim because the trainer, we talk to the trainers every day. Yeah. When there's a question, they get to talk to our team of experts and then we guide them of how to answer certain questions. So that is also why we love having you on the team. And people think like, well, I'm, I'm not training the groups anymore. I am still there with all the answers. And so is Amy. Yep. Amy's my right-hand man. And she, we get to talk to the trainers. We make sure that they're answering cr- tr- questions correctly. And so I think that's what makes us really different too, is yes, you have this person and like, you may not have a trainer who is a dietitian, but we're mm-hmm. such a family. Like we Caroline all communicate. Had- yeah. Caroline had a question that was best for Veronica to answer. And so we reached out to Veronica and Caroline was able to give her client the best feedback. Mm-hmm. So I think that's also what makes us different than we don't have competitors in our group. We, we truly support each other. And I've heard so many other creators say that, but I, I feel like we really do. Like, yeah. Right. I feel like a lot of the other ones do that to get more trainers in. And then the trainers are like slapped in the face with what was not promoted and a team they weren't going to add on. So one thing I'm pretty strict about is we are a team we're together and we're supporting each other. Well, and I think you'll see that through these podcasts, right? You'll see all of us come on and and how we interact and communicate with one another. Veronica, we only have a few minutes left, but I want to end on what, what piece of advice would you give to somebody that's still not really sure about joining trend? That's like, I I don't, 
Go ahead. I want to change that question. Someone who has PCOS. Let's do that. That's even better. Okay. Yep. Well, thanks, Val. <laughs> Um, from, you know, my advice is give it a go. Um, you know, the, the great thing about it is again, we're not eliminating, um, mm -hmm. macronutrient groups, you know, we're very, um, <clears throat> flexible when it comes to the program, you know, like, like Val mentioned, we can pull a few components initially and then, um, and then, you know, gradually add on as you go along, um, we have women that are dealing with these different disease states and we've got people that are, you know, success stories, success, like, you know, I was able to do trim with PCOS, lose the weight, tone up, feel better, everything. And so that's, I mean, that's my thing is why not do something better for your health, for your children's health, for everyone involved, um, give yourself that energy, all the things. And uh, I mean, you know, it, it's kind of a no brainer. Like, I know that's probably not the answer you want me to say, but it's kind of a no, no brainer. It was, it was awesome for me. I, um, I hope to never look back. I hope to keep on doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's safe. It's effective. There's re there's research behind, um, what we're doing here. And, um, you know, I, I, I mean, I completely endorse it, you know, so I know uh, I love that. And like, I, I love that when you are speaking to someone with PCOS, it's not like, this is what you're going to do because anybody can do it with small alterations. It's not a pill. You have to worry about right. having side effects. It's not, it's, it's natural ways that build on each other. And that's why yes. people say I have PCOS. I'm like, try it. And we even have a hundred percent guarantee back because if someone truly does the whole program, it doesn't work. I'm not going to be like, oh, it doesn't work for you. I'm like, okay, we need to reevaluate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like put them in another yeah. round at no cost. And we're going to make some adjustments. I don't want someone to sign up and not do anything or not get results. If you don't get results, that's what we're here for. We yeah. are not a program where it's like, oh, sorry, it didn't work for you. We have other ways. We have one-on-one. -on -one. We can make it hundred percent custom. We can change it change. up. So change I think your that's trainer, the, right? Like yeah. if you have somebody that's trainer. Yeah. PCOS, then maybe they need to have Veronica as the trainer because Veronica. Yeah. Has yeah. And our, we've been really good at some people were like, I think I would connect better with them. And then, so we move them over, but it goes all ways. So yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. And trainers it. understand also if you switch individuals because they want yes. to help a trainer you. Trainer should not want somebody who doesn't want them. And it goes vice, it goes both ways. The one thing that I've always, when I became a trainer, the one thing for some reason it stuck out to this day is you as a trainer have just the amount of the right to say compatibility isn't working as the client. Mm -hmm. So right. we, that's, that's what I really uh, hold on to. If a trainer is like, I don't know how to help this person. Well, we're not going to, you know, let's make it easier on everybody. We don't have to make it complicated. We can yeah. move you to a different trainer. We can figure out what's going on and we can do a little deep dive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Veronica, next time I see you, I, I think you'll probably have a baby. I hope you, you will have. Hopefully. Baby. Yes. You know, it's hopefully a girl, <laughs> it's a girl. She's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, so, do you have a name yet? Uh, yes. Felicity Rose. Oh my gosh. So I have a lily and a violet. Oh, so, all so sweet. Florals. All the flowers. <laughs> all the flowers. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you guys have a wonderful day. Veronica, thank you so much. All right, for thank you. Us. And thank we will you. chat later. Bye. All right, sounds good. Bye. Bye.